for our next part of our demo, we're going to pick up where we left off. And where we left off was essentially building the kind of the tracking backend for our HR process. And I made a little progress uh, since we last talked, and I actually created uh, four, four different tables within Dataverse that track essentially the, the, the different pieces of the hiring process here. So we have our candidates, the interviewers, we have a bunch of job postings, um, and we have uh, some, some tracking of our sales performance. And one thing I've also done is if you went back to uh, our, that knowledge, kind of common knowledge uh, experience that is powered by Dataverse, you saw that we have some powerful new connectors to enterprise systems, you know, including a Databricks. And what's really, really awesome about this is for my HR scenario, while we're choosing to track some of the kind of business process here around hiring and uh, interviewing in Dataverse, we track all of our headcount for our organization within Databricks. And so what I've done is I've configured um, this uh, Databricks uh, kind of uh, environment that has our headcount and HR information, um, and I've configured it as a knowledge source within Dataverse. And what's powerful about this is by con by configuring all of these and setting them up within the Dataverse MCP server, I can now leverage this anywhere across any agent clients that support MCP. So what I'm going to do for the next uh, part of this demo is I'm going to open up Claude, and what I've done in Claude is the same thing I did for the GitHub Copilot is I've configured my Dataverse MCP server here to Claude. And so all those same tools and capabilities are enabled here within Claude. And say that I'm using, say our, in this case, maybe our finance team is using uh, Claude uh, alongside our HR team to do things uh, such as understand sales performance. So like I said, we had that sales performance table that was created within Dataverse. And so what I can do here is I can say, okay, like I want to understand the sales performance across my teams. And so I can say, you know, which uh, regions across uh, my company uh, exceeded uh, the, their performance within uh, Q1. Um, and what this is actually going to do um, underneath the covers is it's going to pull all of the sales performance data that, like I said, was created in the table in Dataverse. And what I love about this is it kind of iteratively finds the right information and uh, it finds out that, okay, like the West West region here, um, you know, had a had a kind of a target of 10 and a actual revenue of 12 and exceeded uh, their information. So one thing I might be, you know, looking to understand is, okay, like, you know, what, what's a view of like the headcount I have by the different types of regions? So it looks like, you know, obviously the West region did a good job. So, but, but what about the, the headcount data that I have? And this is a case where, again, it's going to go um, pull that from data, Databricks. And so Databricks, you know, I've configured that kind of that, um, that environment on my Dataverse server. And so it's able to index all of, essentially pre-index all the schema associated with that. And it does a federated query using the power of the data, Dataverse MCP server to kind of pull the headcount information from that Databricks back, Databricks backend. And this is not kind of didn't sink in all this data, but it's essentially leverages the federated connector capability um, of Dataverse to turn this into a query uh, from the natural language. And it's actually pulling uh, the different information. And what's awesome about Claude is it kind of has all that context of the sales performance so far. So it's able to kind of pull all the different details, all the different slices and then give me a view of the headcount data that I need by region. Uh, and this is like one thing I really find around MCP is that if you give kind of like the right raw level tools to these very, very powerful clients like Claude or like Copilot Studio, um, they can use them iteratively and recursively to find the information that they want. So um, it pulled all the headcounts so of 300 employees, a lot of them in, in um, the West region, and shows me all the different roles and kind of the distribution across my company, which is great, um, which is awesome. And so like, okay, so like, let's say that, you know, obviously the West region uh, is exceeding performance. Let's say that I want to, you know, ask questions, say, okay, like, let's say I want to expand my headcount, right? Because it's overperforming 
Um, I'm actually getting pretty good bang for my buck out there, even though I have a lot of employees that are bringing in a lot of revenue. So like, okay, like maybe like, how would you suggest, you know, you, you know, here's a suggestion to my AI application in Claude in this case. Um, so, you know, how should I expand my headcount? And so like, let's see what it comes back with in terms of a recommendation. And so it's potentially trying to pull and see if there's additional uh, details or growth information uh, that's within there. It's actually not. It's going to essentially fall back to analyzing uh, the context uh, that it has. But you can see how it's very curious and trying to like pull the information it can from the data sources it has, kind of evaluating different types of angles, seeing if there's different types of revenue targets or growth um, queries that it can, uh, or different slices of the information um, that it can find here. But um, it's even, what I love is it even like checks out, okay, like, you know, you're in Q1. Hey, maybe, do you have any information in your, in your environment that uh, around uh, the next quarter? Because that might could that be relevant in terms of essentially the planning that I'm asking it uh, to do. Um, and uh, in this case, I don't actually have any sales uh, targets. So I love it. It's like kind of iteratively kind of research uh, the information. So West region, it uh, kind of has 270 employees, kind of exceeded its target. Um, and it's going to say role optimization, hold the data scientists steady, considered expansion of the AI ML engineer roles, with pipeline product development requirement. Okay, I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. So I'm going to choose to say create some additional postings, but just to like, you know, check my work here, like before I go and ask it to create those, let me just like show you here, like uh, that it's actually going to create them properly. So I'm going to ask it like, okay, how many postings do I have? So um, if you recall, this was like one of those tables that we had created ahead of time. So it found it. Um, I'm going to just query how many, t how many uh, postings it has. It's going to do that query. Okay. All right, let's see how many different postings. So it's, it's actually pulled the schema um, and found the uh, the uh, columns to be able to kind of like break down by region and by job type. All right, so, okay. So there's, I have five postings right there. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say create another five postings for AI and ML engineers. Uh, beyond what we have today. Um, and this is going to leverage that same tools that you saw beforehand to um, to create the the applications, you know, from GitHub Copilot. And in this case, it's going to automatically create those postings with all the context that I have here. It's going to create kind of some default skills for all these different postings um, within, the, uh, within the Dataverse table that I have here. And... Let's see here. After this is created, we'll um, ask it to kind of like just check our work here and uh, show that it's actually been created um, in the environment. And you can see here how powerful this is with just essentially indexing the right uh, data for my uh, enterprise system, right? In my enterprise process here. Oh, uh, and it's even going to check the work for me here. Um, it is able to kind of be really iterative and even very creative and curious with trying to kind of help me kind of sniff out the right thing to do for my business. And with Dataverse, it's not just about retrieving information. In this case, it allowed me to actually go and create those new postings. So I can take action and then trigger the next set of the business process that we're going to talk about later, which is then acting on these new positions that I've created. And it was just like so powerful um, what having the right backend that's built for business like Dataverse can do for your end-to-end -end process.